What's going on guys, Envy Astro here, back at it with another video. And we got, of course, Mr. Said Hendo. And dude, what can I say, man? Are you excited about this video? Nah, I'm not that excited, man. Why? Because I've flown bitches already. I know what they're like. <laughs> you haven't flown these, though. Well, what do you got? Show me what you got. All right, all right. So as you guys could probably tell by the thumbnail of this video, today we're going to be trying out the new Formula 95Cs by AC. If you guys have not seen our first review on the 75C version of this pack, be sure to go check it out because those packs are freaking impressive. In so fact, wet. In fact, I got 10, baby! <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, we made a group buy. We bought a lot of them <laughs> because those things were just good. We used to fly the Flight Club packs, but now we switched over to AC because those things are just amazing. And I'm not saying this because I'm sponsored. I'm not even sponsored by AC. I just love these packs, and this is my honest review. But we're actually going to be trying to puff one of those later on in the video, so he be sure to that press though. that subscribe button. That way you guys could stay tuned for that video because... Right. Hey, we have not puffed one of those, and I want to see what it takes to puff one of those. But today we're going to be talking about the 95C. And uh, before we get started with anything, let's go ahead and show you guys what this pack comes from straight from the factory. See what the cells look like. So let's go ahead and do that. Elio from Black Bomba Jones actually sent us the new 95C, which is a higher discharge rate uh, compared to the 75Cs. And um, I think these are just going to be just as good. They're just going to provide you better longevity from the battery due to the 95C and probably will not get as hot whenever you run it pretty hard because these get extremely hot once you get uh, bring them down from a very hard run and I just think the 95C probably won't but let's actually go ahead and weigh these things for you guys real quick and let's put that on the scale and we're looking at 192.1 grams which is very similar to other packs out there such as the Pyro Flip Who Cares packs and the R-Line batteries and compared to the 1575C we're looking at 177 and that is with Velcro too so this weighs like about 174-175 and um, I'll also go ahead and put some more info on the screen for you guys concerning the new Formula 95Cs and I'll go put a link on the description below that way you guys can go, go pick the, some of these up if you guys want to try them out but with that, let's actually go ahead and go over to the field with Seth Hendo and I and get our first run through these packs. So, let's do it. Okay, so now that you guys know a little bit about the packs, let's actually go over the setup that we're going to be running to test these packs. So, this here is the F60's 2500 KV by T-Motor. We're running our favorite props, the 5152 from GemFan. We have a 30 amp Cicada 4-in-1 ESC. We have a Lux V2 Unified Pro HV. TBS Triumph and a micro camera from Fox Sear and this frame if you guys are curious This is a new prototype frame that FPB Fly Club is working for and should be out in a couple of months But I'm loving this frame so far so far so good. It looks great. I love canopies But let's go ahead and test these packs out and see what they got. So let's do it. All right, here we go All right, all right, dude. Check let's out. see what this little pack. So what are you gonna I'm, be doing? I'm not gonna go gonna easy do? on this pack <laughs> <laughs> That's what dude. this is I'm gonna test the little pack. We ain't doing a week still. Oh stuff. my Jesus. I'm gonna test this pack. See what it got, man. It's a 95 C. Woohoo! Hey, so far I have not felt a sag nor heard a sag. So, there's so far no, so There's good. no sag on this one. Look at this. God. Damn. But honestly, though, it feels very similar to the 75 C. Yeah, of course. I think the difference, though, that we're gonna have between a 95 C and the 75 C is these may have a little bit uh, longer longevity on them, you know? You think? Video's not the best, though. Well, that should say that. No, because the video. So I hope the DVR isn't too bad for you guys. Because Seth set these goggles up to the wrong channel. Dude, so far it's so freaking good. Wow, you're, you're the pilot. You should be getting your own channel right. I should have had my own goggles on the first place. Though. Yeah, that would be even better. Damn, dude. <laughs> Dude, and it's not sagging. It's staying at 14.7. <laughs> so I do that. That's not bad because I, I did you notice. I can't see the DVR. I did notice that the um, that the 75 C's do sag down to like 13.6, but you don't feel it. I gotta turn this fan on. But yeah, you don't really feel it. Nice. What do you think is gonna be the difference though between the 75 and 95? I think uh, hardly any sag probably with these, and then also I think they probably won't come down as high. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Cause the because the ACs do. The other yeah. ones, the green the ones, green ones dude, do. Those get super yeah, hot. They do get really hot. And these, I think, uh, because they have a uh, higher C rating. The end of that thing. Uh, yeah. See what happens. I think because they have a higher C rating, they'll be able to handle the draw that's on them. 
And it, you know, for the most part with these lighter quads, we're not drawing as much as we used to either compared to, you know, what, what we used to draw with the Tokyo. It's still giving me the power. Oh, kill it, kill it, You know how we treat cats. Ooh, 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 <laughs> seven <laughs> Let's check if this pack is puffed up. Dude, look at this, it's puffed. Can we see how warm it is? You know it's shit ain't puffed, stop playing. It's puffed up, dude. <laughs> he puffed it's it up. It's not even that warm. It ain't that warm. I can Compared hold it to the 75, it's not warm at all, so I think you're, what you thought, it's probably right, but hey, look, this thing is puffed up. No, I'm just kidding, it's not puffed up at all. Look at this, not even puffed. And I know that's the first cycle, and it shouldn't be puffed, but trust me, I flew a battery. I don't even want to say the name. I don't want to embarrass the company like that, but I flew a battery, and you will not believe R -line. me. R-Line. It wasn't an R-Line. Well, I did that to an R-Line, too. Crap, too. It wasn't a tattoo, either, because that's the same thing as an R-Line. It was a Venom. It was some Venoms. It. I'll say it. I flew a first cycle on a Venom, and it puffed up on me, believe it or not. And I, I don't know why I did that. To a point where it was unusable. It really. was unusable, it was but hey, scary. there's no puff on this. So far, so good. And as you guys saw, I don't know if you could tell the on the DVR, it didn't sag as much as the green ones did. And I can hold it. Our green ones, we can't hold like this after a flight. <laughs> it's pretty freaking hot. So yes, the differences from like our yeah. first impressions was they don't get as hot. They don't sag as much. Even though the green, the 75 C's, we didn't really, we couldn't really yeah. feel the sag. Yeah. But on the, DV, on the DVR, if you see the voltage, I hope you can see the voltage because the video was pretty bad because somebody put me on the wrong channel. But, oh. That, that surprised me, dude. That's what you get for talking crap about me. You can't be <laughs> while I'm talking to them. But anyways, yes, those are the differences. And I think now we're going to charge it back up. And you guys saw it. We brought it down to like 7 volts. That's what it read on the seven OSD. Volts. We're going to charge it back up and see how much milliamp is actually put back into the pack. And then we're going to let said handle fly it and see what he thinks. So oh, murder this sucker. <laughs> so let's do it. Okay, so we just finished up charging the 95C AC pack. As you can see, there was 1570 milliamps put back into the pack, which is more than what is rated. And I charged this only to 16.8 because I wanted to see how many milliamps it would actually put back into it at a regular charge. So it got 1570 back in, which is a good sign. And now let's let said Hendo try out the pack and see what he thinks. All right, man, so go ahead and fly. fly. See what fly you think. Fly the sucker? Yeah. All right, let's see what treat, it, treat it however you want. However I want. Yeah, but well, this is my pack though, so keep that in mind. Oh yeah, that does. <laughs> oh, oscillation? She is powerful. Woo! That looks pretty quick. That 60s don't play, man. Look, look at, how, how's the sag on it? Look at the voltage, the voltage. I'm looking at it. What does it go down to? I saw it flash down to 13.8 or something okay, like that. Okay, I was getting like 14.7 on mine. So yeah, this pack actually charged back up to 15.70 milliamps. Which it may actually be like a 15.50 low key, right? Yeah. If, how how do, does, can you tell the difference between a 75 and 95? I'm just having fun, dude. I, don't, I can't <laughs> tell anything. I'm just having fun. <laughs> Just don't crash because we know how the history with you crashing is. Look at that! <laughs> Dude, you look quick, man. It's still giving you the power, too. How long has it been? A minute, 57 seconds. We're, we were sitting around like for like 20 seconds, I think, or so. Yeah. So probably like about a minute in. We gotta fly over our head like that, man. It says 11. 10, oh god. You killed the pack. Poor pack, dude. Bring nine. It. Remember to nine, land seven, on the um nine, on the grass. Eight, seven, nine. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and check what these cells came back down at. Oh man. Right, so it's not as hot as the 75 C's, but it's it's pretty warm. But it's, it's not as hot warm, as the 75 C's. The 75C is literally hot. Dude, they are literally freaking hot. Let's but they, they're not puffing. All right. See. Oh. See. All right. Let's go ahead and show you guys the cells. So we're reading at 12.3, 2 2.7, 3.2, 3.2, 2.9. So that's oh, pretty low. That 2.7 yeah. is the lowest. 2.7 is pretty low. But there's no puff. So as you can tell, no P Diddy in that sucker. <laughs> no puff. Yeah. And uh, those were the first two cycles that we ever got on the 1595C. But this guy is smart. He didn't bring out his pack because he didn't want to run it. 
Huh. Yeah, we gotta torture my poor little Pat. That's but I'm gonna right. actually take care of this one because, or should should we just go ahead and? No, no. Take no, care I'm gonna take care of this care one. These these are a little bit more expensive yeah. compared to the old 75Cs because these are I believe for the 1500s just like 36.99 compared to a 26, 28.99 on the old 75Cs. But um, if these are going to last you a little bit longer, then I don't see why pay a 10 extra dollars to possibly get it uh extra longer but we still haven't even killed one of our 75 nevertheless seasons. they're still cheaper than crap two and our lines the thunder powers and for thunder sure. powers and why you call them crap two hey man it is what it is i got my opinion too what do you call thunder powers just thunder power but no thunder powers? I don't, there's no thunder to it just I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying <laughs> we have we just joke around like this guys we call little products you like, like what you like man. yeah it is what it is but um yeah. hey so far so good uh we will be doing an update video to see how long these last so far we have two cycles i will be tracking my cycles like last time but i'll probably do an update video once we go to about 110 100 cycles the last one i updated you guys whenever we had about 80 cycles but i'm expecting more longevity from this battery so if we don't reach to 110 ish cycles then i'm not gonna update you guys <laughs> i'll tell you guys that it, it went out it. before <laughs> exactly exactly but but with that guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you guys are interested in carrying this pack i'll put a link down uh, in the description below because fpv fly club is one of the only distributors here in the u.s that actually carries these 95 c 1500 so go pick some of those up try them out let us know what you guys think but with yep. that guys see you guys on the next video and don't forget to comment like and subscribe and peace out peace